Monument Denali 605 gas grill. I was lucky enough to be one of the first to be able to test out this pit. I've got a lot to cover, Victor, so let's amplify some backyard barbecue fun. The Denali came in in two boxes and the packaging was good. I got this pit before the release date so the packaging might change. It took my boys just a little over an hour to assemble the Denali, but they're getting pretty dang good at putting these monument pits together, so you might want to plan for about an hour and a half. One person can put this pit together, but if you can find somebody to help you out, it certainly is going to save you a little time. Once the pit was all put together, I did what I like to call the burn off. And the first thing that I noticed is that Monument has now gone to an automatic style of ignition. That means you just turn that button over to max and hold it in, and that will engage the igniter for just that burner. And every single burner lit up with ease, so I left them on high and ran it for 30 minutes. This way I can burn off any of the machining oil from the manufacturing process. The second thing that I noticed is that these LEDs are actually color coordinated. And the colors stand for red is high, orange is medium and low, and white is off. During the burn off, it's also a good time to test out to make sure that everything is working on the pit. So you might as well check and see if that side burner is gonna fire up too. And a pro tip, jot down some of the temperature readings that you're seeing so when you start cooking, you have an idea where you're gonna have to set your knobs at. When I was running all six burners on high, I had temperatures around 750 degrees. When I turned all of them down to low, I was reading about 480. And the temperature, it is being read by a pit probe right up front in the center of the pit. This is also a great time to hook up that Bluetooth controller to your phone. The build quality on the Denali is a little better than your typical gas grill construction. Monument upgraded it to have an enamel coated firebox, which certainly helps on cleanup. It's almost like it's dirt resistant. With a little bit of elbow grease, it can look new again. The Denali, it's a pretty big pit. It's 65 inches long, about 47 inches tall, and about 23 inches deep. The Denali has 895 square inches of cooking space, 640 square inches on the bottom cast iron grates, and 255 square inches on the multi-use warming rack. And it really is a multi-use rack. The first cook, I hung some chicken legs from it and they cooked up great. We have 66,000 BTUs on the main six burners, leaving us 12,000 BTUs on the side burner. Another upgrade that Monument has done is that they've made the actual clear view window a lot bigger on the Denali. Now you can actually see your whole cook. Plus you don't have a temperature gauge in the center of it. All of your temps are gonna be right on the controller. The lid itself is made out of stainless steel. Did I mention how cool these LED lights are? Another upgrade to the Denali is you now have tool hooks on both sides of this pit. So that might mean it's abstra dimpsterish You know, it's left-handed and right-handed. The side burner is great for keeping your brats warm or even cooking up some noodles. You have a nice storage cabinet and the doors are stainless steel. One side you can store your barbecue accessories and the other side you store your tank. You have four rotating and locking casters made out of plastic and even if this pit is big it still moves around pretty easily. And finally, the biggest upgrade to Monument Grills is this smart controller. Being that it has two probe ports and they send you two meat probes, I was able to monitor that cook when I did up some chicken halves. I really wasn't worried about overshooting any temps because I was able to monitor the temps right off the controller. And what the meat probe temps were reading compared to my handheld were pretty much spot on. And finally about the controller, it is very easy to read and you can also write off the controller set up some temperature alerts for your meat probes. You also have a nice little USB charging port. I get asked this all the time, Ricer, what are some accessories I should get for my new pit? Well, hands down, number one, it has to be a rotisserie when it comes to a gas grill. And for a limited time, if you use the code SMARTDENALI, Monument will send you a free rotisserie. And you can even rotisserie some pork ribs. And I was inspired by my good friend, Tommy from Gallery Backyard Barbecue to do it. And it didn't even take two hours to get them nice and tender and juicy. I also really like the little griddle. Having that made it super easy to fry up some bacon to top off some cheeseburgers. Or if you got the munchies, it's really easy to do up a couple
couple grilled cheese sandwiches. And one of the things I suggest, if you store it outside, you need a cover. And this is for all of you that ask me, hey, can it get hooked up to natural gas? Yeah, it can. Right here's the kit. All the cooks on the Monument Denali turned out like I thought they would. Perfect. I mixed it up a little bit on the chicken halves. Two of them I just did salt, pepper, and garlic. On the other two, we turned the heat up a tad and did them barbecue style. Cooking the legs off that multi-use warming rack gave me a little bit of char and they were super simple to cook. Everybody likes to cook hamburgers, hot dogs, and brats on a gas grill, and this Denali crushed those burgers in less than 10 minutes. The cleanup on the Denali, it's like every single gas grill. After you get done cooking, crank up the heat and burn off any grease and extra debris on those cast iron grates. Clean them up real good, and after the pit is cooled down, go ahead and clean up the inside of that enamel firebox. Then just pull out your grease tray and your drip pan, scrape that down, and put it all back together. My overall opinion on the Monument Denali 605 is really good. I'm very excited that they decided to go with this smart controller. Having two meat probes so I could monitor my cook made it so much easier. This pit is made for a larger family or for somebody who likes to entertain and cook for multiple guests. A couple things that I would like to see Monument upgrade in the future is number one, those plastic casters. And another thing I think they're going to have to change eventually is have a bigger battery pack. If you are in the market for a new gas grill, again, I will have a link in the description below for They also have two other smaller models. So if the Denali 605 is too big, don't worry, Monument's got you covered for a smaller unit. Well, that's all I got. Roll the nation.